Hey guys, Skyron here. Before we begin this video, I'd just like to ask that if you're enjoying these lore videos, it would mean so much if you could take two seconds to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps so much with the growth of the channel. Also, share this with one of your friends. Now, on with the video. The Lore Behind Atlas and Peabody In the distant future, deep underground of Upper Michigan, the Aperture Science Facility comes back online after years of inactivity, after GLaDOS was destroyed by one of her test subjects. Now back online, GLaDOS begins to create a cooperative testing initiative using test chambers that had never been solved by humans, as her current test subject kept attempting to escape. Although unable to control the actions of a human, she could create robots that lacked the human feelings of pride and fear that removed their ability to complete her tests. Using scraps from around the facility, GLaDOS created two robots that could work together to complete her test chambers. The first robot, Atlas, she created using a personality core as its central body while Peabody had a sentry turret as its central body. Although not human, GLaDOS gave them personalities and behaviours that would come from a human. Atlas showing brave and fearlessness tendencies, while Peabody showed inquisitiveness and sensitivity. Unknown to GLaDOS, the robots would continue to grow their personalities and become friends while completing the test chambers together. Along with this, she designed Atlas to be male orientated, having a masculine voice, while having Peabody as female orientated and having a feminine voice, human-esque but not quite human. With the dangers of the test chambers, GLaDOS's machinery allowed them to be rebuilt if destroyed, while still retaining the memories of the previously destroyed version, essentially giving them no reason to fail a chamber. Along with this, the parts of the robots are able to work even if separated from the rest of their bodies. To complete the chambers, she gives each robot its own Aperture Science handheld portal device, allowing up to four portals to be created in a single test chamber. The colour of these based on the colour of their body. Blue and purple for Atlas, yellow and red for Peabody. After another robot, Wheatley, takes over the facility, he realises that he doesn't need a human test subject, as the robots seem to work just as well, and so he attempts to kill Chell, his current subject. After this, he is retaken over by GLaDOS, and she lets Chell leave the facility, following Wheatley's thought that Atlas and Peabody could satisfy her testing needs. Over the course of the robots completing GLaDOS's test chambers, they become closer, joking with each other, hugging and playing rock paper scissors. Although enjoying themselves, this angers GLaDOS. She begins to try and turn them against each other by telling each of them lies about their partner, but each attempt fails and GLaDOS comes to the realisation that the robots simply lacked the ability to betray each other. Although completing her chambers, GLaDOS understood that robot testing just wasn't the same as human testing, as they cannot die or be manipulated. And so, she sends Atlas and Peabody to find discs and eventually to unlock a vault with hundreds of humans who have been in stasis for all of these years. Now with new human subjects, she blows up Atlas and Peabody, planning to use her new human subjects. Only a week later, GLaDOS brings back the robots, although wanting the humans for their ability to die. It also meant that all of her new subjects died within a week of being discovered, and so she was forced to bring back Atlas and Peabody. Now back, GLaDOS tells them that it has been 100,000 years, and testing is simply an art form, but later, they discover it has been but a week. As they begin testing again, 
GLaDOS once again attempts her tactics of manipulation to turn them into killing machines by insulting them. And once again, it fails. Within an old chaser's room in the facility, a bird creates a nest in one of GLaDOS's old frameworks, resulting in the facility starting to malfunction. One of these malfunctions being the reassembly machines that reassembled the robots each time they died. After discovering that birds are causing the malfunction, Atlas and Peabody get it to leave the chassis and restore order to their reassembly machine, meaning that they can test without fear of not coming back. With nothing else to do, it is thought that Atlas and Peabody continue to test in the facility, hidden away from the world above. With GLaDOS now preoccupied with the eggs left in the nest, the robots may be able to test and continue their friendship without GLaDOS's manipulative attempts to tear them apart. Hello test subjects, thank you for watching this lore episode on Atlas and Peabody. I'd just like to thank my gold tier patrons, Jonas, Scruffroom, She Palpatine, Zero XP Podcast, Sarcantrophy and Lewis. Your support helps me make these videos, thank you. As always, like, share and subscribe if you found this interesting. Now, enjoy your day.